Hi, I'm Dr. Pierce Bradley from the Keck School of Medicine of USC and the LAC USC Medical Center in Los Angeles. Today I'll be discussing the transjugular intrahepatic portosystemic shunt, or TIPS procedure. TIPS is a procedure that is performed in patients who have advanced liver disease and cirrhosis to alleviate the more severe symptoms that can occur due to chronic liver disease. Many of these symptoms are due to something called portal hypertension, which is elevated blood pressure in veins that supply the liver. In cirrhosis, scarring and fibrosis blocks blood flow through the liver that normally flows easily back to the heart. This resistance to flow causes pressure to build in the portal vein and causes multiple problems. One such problem are varices. Varices are engorged veins that form due to blood finding other roots around the scarred liver. As portal hypertension worsens, upstream tributary veins can distend under the pressure, thinning vessel walls like an overinflated balloon. This process makes it easy for these veins to bleed, and variceal bleeding can be fatal. Endoscopic variceal banding can control some, but not all, variceal bleeds. Another consequence of portal hypertension is the accumulation of fluid in the abdomen, or ascites. High pressure due to scarring and cirrhosis squeezes fluid in the liver, causing some to leak out into surrounding spaces. In the abdomen, this fluid is called ascites, and hepatic hydrothorax when it accumulates in the chest cavity. A low-sodium diet in combination with diuretics, or water pills, can help reduce ascites. But in severe cases, direct drainage of the fluid via a procedure called paracentesis must be performed regularly. When medications and other procedures fail to control variceal bleeding or ascites, symptoms can be managed with TIPS. In TIPS, a guide wire is passed via the jugular vein in the neck in transjugular fashion. A needle at the end of the guide wire is then pushed intrahepatically through the liver to connect the hepatic vein above the liver to the portal vein below, creating a portosystemic connection. Finally, a hollow stent is placed through the liver over the guide wire, creating a shunt through which blood can pass directly from the portal vein to the hepatic vein and back to the heart. This direct connection is beneficial because it immediately reduces the high pressures in the portal vein more than 90% of the time. The reduced portal pressures allow blood engorged varices to decompress, and tips can be performed to stop severe variceal bleeding or, in less urgent cases, to prevent further episodes of variceal bleeding when other methods have failed. Tips may also be performed to manage refractory ascites that does not improve with diet and water pills. In these cases, around 75% of patients will have significant reduction or complete resolution of ascites after TIPS, eliminating the need for paracentesis as well as the risk of acidic fluid infections. TIPS is often performed as a bridge to transplant and can help control the symptoms of cirrhosis while patients wait for a new liver. It can also be used as destination therapy in situations where a liver transplant is not an option. In some cases, TIPS may eliminate the need for transplant entirely. All patients who undergo a TIPS should be evaluated for liver transplant. It is important to note that TIPS is not without risk and is reserved for patients with severe or refractory variceal bleeding or ascites due to potential complications associated with the procedure. Some of the most serious problems that can happen after TIPS affect the heart, the liver, and the brain. For the heart, once the stent is placed, blood flow to the heart is dramatically increased almost immediately. This sudden increase in workload can unmask pre-existing heart failure, and proper cardiac workup is essential to ensure the heart can adapt. Another consequence of TIPS involves the liver itself. Normally, the liver receives about 75% of its blood from the portal vein. The shunt created in TIPS reduces blood flow to an already damaged liver and the procedure carries with it the risk of further injury and even liver failure. This risk can be predicted by calculating a model for end-stage liver disease score, or MELD score, that can help determine whether TIPS is appropriate for a given patient. Finally, 
Tips can potentially worsen buildup of toxins like ammonia that can affect brain function as more blood bypasses the liver unfiltered. This buildup can cause confusion, or hepatic encephalopathy, in about 20-30% to 30% of patients after tips. When it does occur, however, hepatic encephalopathy can generally be controlled with medications. And that, in a nutshell, is tips.